on his way. Move, move, move! Move your car! Hey, who it? What's your first and last name? Uh, Jonathan Henney. How do you spell that? J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, last name Henney, H-E-N-N-I-E. All right, what happened here tonight? Um, well, I was getting off the freeway right here, uh, well, changing the freeways, and I just seen a big fire. Some people was on the side, so I just pulled over. I think the nice thing to do is to help, so we ran over here. Uh, we was trying to throw anything on it, water, uh, dirt. We had a couple of fire machines from the truck, and they said there's somebody in there. So once we figured out somebody was in there, Everybody was trying to fight the flames to at least get in there and try to pull the guy out. When we pulled one guy out, he said it might be another person in there, it might not, but luckily we got him out in time because the fire just went up in flames right after we did that. Cool. All right, 
right, sir, if you don't mind giving me your first and last name. Uh, Michael Becker. All right, Mr. Becker, uh, what did you see here today? Uh, the individuals in that vehicle were chasing me, actually. And they tried to sideswipe me and push me off the overpass. And I went into a spin out. And this it resulted in this. Uh, we were able to pull one of the individuals out. The other one was already out. And hopefully everybody will be safe. Do you think this is uh, job related? Possibly. Possibly. Are, were you in a marked vehicle? No. No? Okay. All right. And you helped with extricating the uh, person out of the vehicle? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. What's your uh, first and last name? Joseph Amaya. I can't hear you guys. Jo Joseph Amaya. Joseph Amaya. All right, and uh, what'd you see here tonight, Joseph? Uh, you know, I just stopped because I seen an accident, and then when I got off my bike, I seen a car fire, and the guy, uh, asked the guy if there's people inside. He said he didn't know. He said there was two other people, but there's only one, just the driver. So we tried pulling him out for the best we could with the and uh, trying to pull him. Cool. And were you able to pull one of the guys out, or two uh, of them? Well, yeah, I helped pull the, the driver out. He was the only one stuck in the car. Cool, awesome. Thank you, man. You're here tonight. Thank you. All right, sir, uh, what's your first and last name? Keith Davis. All right, Keith, and what'd you see here tonight? Uh, when I was driving on the, the 215 North, I saw fire over here on the 215 South in the side bankment. I immediately called CHP, but dispatch received multiple uh, 911 calls, which I took uh, Orange Show exit, got back onto the 215 South, came over here and assisted other uh, Good Samaritans and myself were able, to, along with CHP, be able to pull the victim from the vehicle before burning up. Multiple fire extinguishers were used prior to CHP and fire arriving. I want to thank the, uh, the people that were around to be able to uh, help out and save a life tonight. God bless. Sergeant with the California Highway Patrol out of the San Bernardino area. And tonight at uh, 0330 hours, this morning actually, we got a call of a two vehicle traffic collision, southbound 215 from the eastbound I 10. 
Uh, one of the vehicles was reportedly engulfed in flames. Our officers responded to the scene and confirmed that one vehicle was in fact in flames down off the, uh, the right side of Bankman. Uh, as they arrived, there was one individual outside of the car and a report of another individual inside of the vehicle. Uh, our officers, along with uh, some members of the public, pulled that individual out from the vehicle where he was later treated by emergency medical personnel. Uh, two parties were transported from the scene, and as far as we know right now, it's still under investigation as a two-vehicle traffic collision.